Yeah, finally the weather is better, it's sunny and right now yeah, I can finish the... not finish the roof but make it close to finish as much as possible. Yeah, I treated the wood and right now I need to paint it. Yeah. I'm using transparent paint. Today I continue my fight with roof. Last time we put all tiles on the roof and it looks nice. Yeah, but today I need to remove some of them. Yeah, I need to disassemble this part of the roof because uh, I started to put gutters and I realized that I did mistake. The original idea was to put gutters like that on this board, like that, but it's not enough space to put it because this distance is too small and water just drip from the tile there on this membrane and yeah, and it looks not really nice. Yeah, if I put it like that, it's also not enough space here. Water goes not only in gutters, but yeah, let me show. So maybe here. So the water just goes there and also here, yeah, it's, this membrane is still visible if I put it like that. I struggled with this problem whole morning <laughs> and yeah, I need just to disassemble and cut some like two centimeters from the rafters and move this board deeper. And also to make it looks better, uh, I bought this iron and I'll put it here and glue this uh, membrane to this iron and put gutters and so on. But before I do that, I need to remove all these tiles, I need to remove all this wood, I need to remove these boards and cut this learning 
curve cool is too steep for me. Uh, so, yeah. Let's do that, okay. Cut all boards more or less straight, and right now I'm ready to put these boards back. Yeah, I put this iron here, it looks not bad, I still need to glue this membrane to this iron by stri this stripe, it's to make, uh, yeah, to connect membrane and make water flow smooth. Yeah, I still need to put plank here and I, I need to figure out the size of this. Plank and yeah, also I need to connect gutters here. Yeah, I have this connection, but it doesn't fit properly here, so I need to figure out what I can use. Here it should be three centimeters higher, at least three centimeters higher than that end, and yeah, so I need to start and figure out how I can connect it. Maybe by yeah, I can order special hooks, which yeah, which I can connect to this one, or uh, I can use some wood here to connect. It. I need to think about that. And also I have another side of the roof, but fortunately there is no problem with cutting with boards, it looks like everything in proper size, but I still need to remove tiles and put, yeah, put the iron there. 
Ja, 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 ja. I haven't finished uh, the roof yesterday. Right now I, I'm going to finish it because yeah, it's quite rainy and the rains uh, are forecasted for next two weeks. So I want to take opportunity on this short period between the rains to fix this part of the roof. I have this wood. It's uh, treated against rot and mold and insects and I, I will just put it and put tiles back. It's like 10 minutes work but it will protect roof. So let's do that fast and quick. done. Today I want to try to finish, not finish entire roof, but to do as much as possible. It's very rainy weather or I'm working. <laughs> when I came back it was a little bit of rain, so but right now it's more or less dry. And tomorrow they also promised whole day raining and so on, so on, so on. And yeah, I want to try to finish this part of the roof and maybe reach and maybe gutters. I have no idea, but let's do that. Not only me, but George also enjoying the view. Yeah, and it's like rain is coming. I hope not, but <sighs> yeah, let's try. As you can see, it's 
sunny, but it was really huge rain. And here is a rainbow, really nice, double rainbow. Like and subscribe to see more rainbows. Let's continue my walk. This part of the roof is ready, yeah! Almost perfect. Let's go. I still need, yeah, I need to connect it. Let me take the bent connector.
done. Yeah, it's not really done. I need to put closing cup here and also in opposite side and also I still need to drill holes. Yeah, let me show. I need to drill holes here uh, yeah, to allow water to flow away from the gutter. Right now it just goes somewhere. Okay, let's test it. Yeah. It works, it works. So today I'm going to finish the roof. Right now I'm preparing uh, with rich tiles and a lot of people asking how the tiles are secure on the roof. Yeah, mainly it's by gravity and also they have uh, connection here and also uh, because of overlapping it's secured very well so it's quite hard to remove one of them. 
I think it's enough to secure it just on the edges and they're secured by the iron which I put. So let's continue our work. I'm using some drill bit for glass I think or for ceramic and it works perfect. perfect hole yeah and also yeah it's reused and I'm afraid to remove this concrete here because this is what happened when I tried to remove this concrete by hammer and I have really limited amount of tiles and I'm afraid that it's not enough but I hope it will be enough yeah, it's too risky to use hammers to remove this uh, piece of concrete, so I decided to use a uh, grinder. Before I put uh, tiles, I want to put this cover, I don't know how to call it. Uh, it's membrane here, breathable membrane, and also it's iron star which can uh, follow the uh, tiles. Here is some glue stripe and Put it like that. I have never done that before. So let's try the theory in practice. precisely on size so it's perfect almost perfect yeah it will be nice if it you know two or three centimeter longer but yeah it's fine so right now I need just to screw them and that's all
Proof is ready.